What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Everything TV and Some, coming at you with another video. And today we're going to be talking about um, something that's pretty cool, I think. It's called, well, they're Pokemon cards. Obviously, everyone knows what those are. I do, used to do Pokemon card openings on the channel all the time. Let me go ahead and raise this up because I don't think it's picking up all the sound pretty good. But hopefully, you guys, let me put it a little bit closer. As my mouth is not loud enough. So... I'm going to be opening up Pokemon cards, Dollar Tree packs, to test something. I want to see if this is actually correct. Um, I've been reading people been going to dollar stores and opening up Pokemon cards, like weighing them. Well, not now, but in the past, people have been weighing Pokemon cards to get better hits and get the nice cards. So I want to test that theory myself and see if it's true. Uh, obviously, from what I'm assuming, from the research I've done, the heavier packs are going to be around 8 grams. So the closer to 8 grams you can get in these 3 pack Dollar Tree packs are going to be hollow foils. And anything else is just going to be basic cards. So I got set aside already. Now I already weighed these packs myself before stream to save a lot of time. And I have a heavy pile and a non-heavy pile. And I want to test this theory with you guys to see if weighing packs is actually an efficient way to kind of like uh, go get Pokemon cards. Now, I don't do this. I just pretty much buy the whole box. Um, I've never weighed packs before. This is my first time. I just want to see if it's true because sometimes you you go to the store and you buy them there. You know, the customer service and watching Pokemon cards. They don't know about this. And you buy a whole bunch of these and you get absolutely nothing. You're like, damn, I bought... 100 packs of Dollar Tree packs, and I got absolutely nothing. Now, you're obviously not guaranteed to get anything, but if I'd buy 100 packs, you should bare minimum get a reverse holographic card. And some people don't get anything. So, um, I think I'm going to have some fun opening these up and see what we got, guys. If you can, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's get right into it. Now, down here, you should be able to see the scale. And this scale is going to show you the weight. And I'll be reading them back. Heavy pack versus not heavy pack. And let's see if it's actually a thing, if it actually works with the Dollar Tree pack. So, let's see. We have a Cosmic Eclipse pack here. And we're going to start this scale up. And we're going to see what it weighs. Now, this pack is reading as 7 grams, <coughs> 7.83 grams. That's what that's reading at. Let's see if I can get that closer to the camera so you can see. Well, it's going to obviously go crazy. But what this pack is reading is 7.81. So that should be on the heavier side of packs, closer to 8 grams. Now, let's check our other pile. Let's make sure this thing gets zeroed out. Let's turn it on and off so we can get zeroed out. This pack is reading in at 7.9. So that's an 8 gram pack right there. Let's go to the other pile. We're going to do two at a time. See, see how this works. This pack is at 7.75. So I'm not sure. It's, it's definitely lower than the last two. So we'll, we'll put that to the side as a low pack. Low weight pack. And this one's at 7.76. So we got two packs. So essentially this is the low pack, low weight pack. This is the heavy stack. Now, if my theory is correct, all these packs that are low should possibly contain maybe a reverse hollow or a hollow. Maybe not even a hollow. Reverse hollow. I'm not sure what the weight is, but we're going to dive right into it and test this theory out. Remember, these are the low packs. So let's see what we get from these low packs. And uh, well, hopefully the theory is correct. Now, I'm not saying anybody go do this. Uh, it kind of ruins it for everybody. What I'm trying to prove to the point is that possibly this is actually something that can take place. So we have a Rufflet, a Oddish, and a Draw Energy, and then, of course, this card. Now, that, that pack weighed about 7.76, I believe. So, therefore, leading to it not being heavy. This pack weighed, I'll tell you right now. 7.78, so it's closer to 8 grams, but I want to see what that almost 7.80 is going to look like and see if that yields a reverse hollow or not. So let's see, we got a Sandshrew alone in Sandshrew, a Rapidash, and a Type Null. So no holographic hit, reverse holographic hit out of that pack as well. No reverse hollow or no holographic. So now we're going to test, all right. We're going to test some heavy packs now. These packs are heavy. So in theory, there can possibly be. Now, I don't know if heavy means holographic or heavy means 
full are. I don't know the, the, the weight yet. I haven't figured it out. We're all figuring this out together. So let's go to this pack and test the weight. Weight on this pack is 7.84. Now keep in mind, that's only a, about a, a half of short of the other halves of the other pack. But it's still heavier. So let's see. Is it going to be a reverse hollow or a holographic? I don't know what the difference is in weight. But it looks like this should be essentially a reverse hollow, possibly holographic. Now we have a Cosmog. Yep, and we have a reverse hollow Dragonium Z. So that does kind of prove that that is a, that technically is a hit. Um, that's a reverse hollow. So let's put that all back on there. I don't know if this is gonna work the correct way, but let's put it all back and see what the actual difference in the cards themselves are. Let's see what the difference of a reverse hollow is compared to a regular card. So about a, a holographic rever a reverse hollow card, holographic, is about 1.91 grams. And that's just one card. That's just one card. A regular card weighs about 1.8. So off by about 10. So this card is heavier, about a tenth of a half. Yeah, so it's about half, half about about nine, zero point nine more heavier than the non holographic. So that was a hit. That was a hit. So technically, the theory is correct. Now I believe this one's a little a little bit more than the previous one. So let's check. This is seven point nine one. The last one was seven point eight one. So I'm assuming this is going to be a hit pack. This should be either a, a holographic, maybe even uh, we'll, we'll see. It's definitely going to be a hit. I believe it's going to be at least a hit. So let's see. We got Piplup. Oh, Reverse Hollow. So just a heavier Hollow maybe. But it is a hit. And then a Enerith. So it is a hit. So in theory, it's it's kind of working. I guess you can kind of check to see what packs are heavy, what packs are not. So we have 7.75. So this is the, the less heavier side. So it works. So essentially, all these cards from this hand, unless I've misread one, should be... Oh, no, that's a reverse hollow. <laughs> oh, man. I think my math is uh, incorrect. <laughs> Maybe there's no uh, reading this. 7.70. 7.70 is the weight on this card. Now, I weigh, like I said, I weighed all of them. There shouldn't be no really good hits. I might have been off, but we should not pull any good cards from this side. Um, from this side of the, the pick. Because they're weighed significantly less. Um, now if we do get a hit, then I guess that means there's no base basis at all. There's no basis to the theory at all, which it can kind of be a, a good thing. You know, maybe we're debunking the myth that cards can be weighed at the counter. I mean, could you imagine going to the store and like bringing your scale out and the, and the, and the, and the customer service person is like, Hey bro, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just weighing some Pokemon cards, bro. Just trying to cheat all these people out of their hard-earned money. Imagine. So, yeah, let's see. So, see, we haven't got any hits, so I might have been... Oh, okay, here we go. Joltik, Reverse Hollow, and a Lapras. Now, keep in mind, I wonder if some of the cards uh, do weigh more due to, um, you know, the ink in the in the set, maybe. Maybe they're, on a certain card, it's, it's heavier than... A different certain card and maybe that causes uh, a, a, a weight fluctuation there itself magmanite slack off bam so for the most part that side really hasn't yielded anything really too good so let's go to the heavy side quote unquote heavy side this one is 7.89 so there's definitely going to be if we're correct there sh should at very at very least be a reverse hollow um that at very least i'm kind of anxious to get a good hit and see exactly what that weighs and see what that plays into the equation and a reverse hollow. So yeah, I guess the seven point the seven point eighty is typically hollow re reverse hollow reverse hollow territory because we we haven't pulled the holographic yet from the heavy side, but we're gonna consistently pull reverse hollows. So there you go. We're gonna consistently pull reverse hollows because I checked this side and they weighed heavy. Now I don't know. Am I gonna get a heavier pack? So, if 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 correct, the the good the good cards should be the good cards. I'm assuming should be eight grams. A good pack should weigh about eight grams. Then, 
It should weigh about eight grams. I'm assuming, unless, you know, I'm off. Oh, this one I was completely off. There was nothing in this pack at all. And this was a heavy pack. Maybe that one slipped through. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just a conspiracy. A conspiracy I'm trying to debunk. And it's there's no conspiracy. Because these were heavier packs. Yeah, and the heavier packs, that, that one must have slipped through. But the heavier packs seem to be going uh, towards the um, holograph reverse holographics. I mean, we haven't pulled any full art or anything from these heavy packs. Yeah, and there's another uh, reverse hollow. So, yeah, I guess it is correct, but we don't know. Let me see if I can go through and find the heaviest pack, which one that the heaviest pack is. This one is same thing, reverse hollow weight. Um, this one is heavy, heavy. This one's heavy, heavy, almost eight grams. This one is about the same thing, reverse hollow weight. This one's a little bit heavier. This one's a reverse hollow weight as well. Um, 7.79. That, that doesn't even seem like anything. Uh, this one is 7.78. This one is 7.78. And this one is 7.81. So let me open up this 7.81 just to show you guys um, that I believe these. this is going to be a reverse hollow. Let's see. This one was 7.78. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh, damn. We got a full art heat trend. And that one was 7.7. What I say? 7.78? That one wasn't even that one even wasn't a heavy pack. Wow. Reverse hollow. Or no, this is a uh full art heat trend, guys. Full art heat trend. Nice. That was very odd. Let me go back and weigh that without the fat without the pack. That is 6.89. Then we're going to throw the pack back on and see if it reads it. That one came at 7.79. That's interesting because most packs came in at 7.7.84 uh, and it was a reverse hollow. So do the reverse hollows, let's test this theory. Do the reverse hollows weigh more than the secret art or the full art? Let's see. Full art is coming. In. Oh, what? And do I have this all wrong? The less weight is better. This is 1.82 grams on a full art, guys. Full art. The holographic is the reverse holographic is 7.75. So let's test all the reverse holographics and see if some of them weigh more than this uh full art because if some of these holographics reverse hollows weigh more than the full art then our whole theory is nothing it means nothing our whole theory is just shot if, if if one of these reverse holographics weigh more than this full art then our theory is just shot oh <gasps> what 1.93 1.93 this this reverse holographic trainer card, reverse holographic trainer card, weighs more than a full art trainer card. It weighs more than a full art trainer card. So this, so this um, heat tran full art. Let's make sure we're cleared out. Double check it. This full art heat tran is coming in at one point nine two grams. One point nine two grams. And the reverse holographic is coming in at one point. Let me read. Let me redo it. Let me redo it. This reverse holographic is coming in at one point nine four. So this full art card, right, that came from a seven point seven nine, is a hit. A good hit. And the pack that the reverse card came from, the reverse hollow, weighs more than this one. And this pack was heavier than the good pack. So we were getting reverse hollows at 7.79 through 7.84. We were getting reverse hollows hits. This pack was lighter so lighter packs, maybe that's what I'm looking at now. Lighter packs can 
can contain better hits. Now let's test that theory out. Let's test that theory out. Remember, so so far our evidence lighter packs are better. So let's test this theory out and go with the lighter section and weigh a lighter pack. This pack is 7.79. Let's check the lightest pack out. Let me go through and see what the lightest pack weighs. 7.73. 7.73. Let me see if I can find the lightest pack. 7.75. 7.77, weird number, right? 7.78, this is, this is interesting. 7.74, so that's the lightest pack, I believe, so far. No, this is 7.71, so this is the lightest pack right here. Lightest pack. Here I have the heaviest pack. This pack comes in at 7.91. This is the heaviest pack I found out of all packs. So let's open up the light pack first and see what we get. Let's see what we get in the light pack. The light pack is coming in at 7.74. So let's see what we what kind of pulls we get from the light pack versus the extreme heavy pack. If if this if this light pack comes in heavier, then I guess the lighter the pack the more it's stacked, but it hasn't been true, which proves to me that there is no basis. Okay, so this is a very light pack. Came with absolutely nothing in that pack. That was a light pack. Keep in mind, only a third of a point, we got a heat trend. So if that was that, that pack was 7.74, we just got a heat trend out of 7.79. This is 7.91. This is almost eight full grams. So if I'm correct, there might be a gold card, a gold card, well, I don't think there's a gold card here. I don't know what it could be. I don't know what it could be. We just got a heat trend that was half the size, half the weight of this pack. So I'm very curious to see what comes out of this pack. Maybe a Mew and Mewtwo Hyper Rare. We're going to find out. Maybe it's absolutely nothing, guys. Let's find out. Scropey. A Whimsa Scott. And a Misty's Favor. That was 7.79 grams, and that was absolutely nothing. This was the heaviest pack. Now, keep in mind, this might be different with different with, with different cards. Um, I'm not sure what each card weighs. Let me, let's see what this Whimsa Scott weighs. Let's see what Whimsa Scott weighs. Whimsa Scott weighs... Almost two grams. That's a heavy card. And let's see if the trainer cards weigh anything. Almost two grams on uh, Misty's card. And almost two grams on that. Let's see what these little cards weigh. It's significantly less. So, why was that other pack so heavy is my question. Let's see. I have the heavy pack here. Why was... Where was the heavy pack? Oh, it was the Whimsa Scott. It was the Whimsa Scott that was really heavy. So, guys, listen. From what I've gathered, out of opening up a little bit of packs, very minimal. Now, keep in mind, I made a heavy pack. My heavy pack is still here. I made a heavy section. And we'll just go ahead and open those up now. I made a heavy section. And I made a light section. And so far, the the light section has won. Um, these are the heavy size. The light, the, he the, the, the light section is one so far. These are heavy packs, and I'm not getting no hits out of the heavy pack. And these are heavy packs. I weighed them. They're heavier than the rest of the packs. The heavier packs are yielding nothing. Let's check the last two. Let's check two more um, light packs and see what that gives us. Nothing. This is the second light pack. Let's see what this gives us. Nothing except a reverse. So, guys, in my theory, when it comes to Dollar Tree packs, I don't think they can be weighed. Um, it would make sense that the heavier the card or the heavier the pack, the more, the better the, the hollow foil. But I think with the new technology of them making full arts and all that stuff, it doesn't work. It would work on vintage packs, I would imagine, because vintage packs were made the same. But with the, with the reverse hollows and the hollows and the secret rares, full rares and all them stuff, full arts, I don't think it can be determined by weight. 
Um, because we pulled the best card we pulled came from the one of the lower weight packs. It was seven point seven nine, and we opened the packs that was seven point nine one, and it contained a reverse hollow. So with that being said, guys, I wouldn't really freak out too much when going to the stores to buy yourself some Pokemon cards, because it doesn't work. It's not true. I just weighed, uh, very 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 uh light pack, and it came back as a good pack. So with that being said, I don't think there's no weight. Uh, weight is not an issue guys. We opened up a whole bunch of cards. You guys can check it out Look at all those packs. We opened up all the beautiful packs and nothing good came out of anything That was either heavier or lighter. So my theory is there's no such thing as weighing packs at least when it comes to Dollar Tree packs I don't think you can weigh them guys with that being said Make sure you guys please hit that like button drop a subscribe on the channel if you're new to the stream And I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoy this amazing content guys catch you guys later peace